Hi everybody, it's Jean, and I'm back with a little tutorial about how I made pockets in this new journal that I'm working in. And I picked out the journal just to try out all these new mixed media pages that um, I have uh, been looking at. So uh, that first one that you saw was already done, and then I'm going to uh, take eight pages divide them into fours, glue them together by twos, and um, what I'm doing now is I'm putting some texture on the back of the right hand pocket, and um, I normally don't like to leave those straight lines and I'm not sure why I didn't notice unless those are torn lines and I think they're some of them are torn lines and they just happen to be straight but um, the bottom left corner isn't going to show so I'm not putting any texture there I'm just putting some texture up up above and I'm not putting a lot of texture I'm just putting some because I like it to be more noticeable when there's a lot of torn papers uh, covering that area it's not as noticeable it's more like another full layer but this one I wanted it to be a little more um, uh, uh, visible so um, I, I used color just because I thought maybe the color might show through but I'm really going to paint over it so uh, using some color and some white um, will be uh, a little bit, um, uh, maybe make a little bit of a variance after I paint it. So that's why I didn't stick with the one color. Now this is going to be the front of the pocket on the left side. So therefore the top left corner is going to be folded under so I'm not going to put any texture up there. So I'm um, going to uh, move along with the texture uh, with 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 um, showing you what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you every bit, and I um, will be shortly skipping ahead to the painting. I'm not going to show you putting texture on every page because you can see what I'm doing there. I've got a little more texture on this one, a little more variance in color. What I did is I painted, uh, a while back I painted some stickers and uh, I didn't like how they turned out um, so I um, am tearing those up and using them in this book. But of course stickers don't stick after they've been sitting outside for a while <laughs> so definitely need to be glued on. I'm using Mod Podge and I put Mod Podge on the page um, and then uh, put my stickers on it and put Mod Podge over it and I give it a good nice good coat of Mod Podge <coughs> and I'm uh, putting more stickers up towards the corner because it's just the, the, the far corner that is going to be folded over and you'll see in a minute where I'm folding it um, but anyway, um, th and this is fun, it's very relaxing. Um, I like having layers. The first layer is going to be the print and the, the words, and the second layer is um, the textured papers. Kind of like um, buried treasure, um, some jewels. Each layer is a little jewel in the finished page. So um, I thought I had deleted out some of this, but um, I guess you're going to get to see <laughs> see me putting down all the all the texture there <laughs> that I put down. Um, this book, The Wind in the Willows, I picked up at a thrift store, and I had never read The Wind in the Willows, and so I read the book first, and actually really enjoyed it. I had never really known what the story was about, even though I had. Um, gone on Mr. Toad's wild ride at Disneyland many many times. <laughs> so I picked red and um, I'm not a big fan of red uh, for my pages. For some reason 
always looks like I'm painting with blood. So, um, so I'm definitely not sticking with just the red. But I'm, I'm getting the, um, I, you don't have to paint all of the page, but I'm painting most of it, and I'm not uh, painting it uh, pretty because I want it to be kind of choppy, textured, and have a nice, um, uh, richy uh, variations in colors and stuff. So I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not being super careful. I like the the little lines that that are left behind with watercolor. These are the Jane Davenport watercolors, and uh, I like it. Um, I can work in the book because I had slipped a little piece of uh, a, a lid, a cap uh, off of something between the pages so they don't lay right flat and they're drying. Watercolor dries pretty fast. So um, it did take me an hour and I wasn't aware, unfortunately, that I'm only showing the top half of the book. And um, of course I've got a pen laying over my cute little bookmark that I made at the top which isn't going in this book at all <laughs> that little girl all done in blue so now I've got both sides painted and I'm going to add another layer of paint and I love this shade of blue it's kind of a midnight blue and I don't remember the name of it I made swatches uh, with my Jane Davenport like a good little Jane Davenportite uh, and and wrote down all the names but I, I condensed my paints into two different containers instead of three and uh, so they're all mixed up and I don't know which one is which one is which and I never check the swatch to look <laughs> but I, I I love how the blue goes over the red. I love the colors it makes. It uh, turns it purple in places. And I'm just um, trying to make sure I catch all the edges really good um, by using my fingers so I can feel that I'm getting the edges of each of the uh, pieces of uh, texture that I've put down. Now, some some for some reason, that's peeling. So then I um, can you and began using a brush and working with it a little bit. So we're getting there, and this is how you fold the page back. One of the things that I did not do was fold the pages evenly, and you'll notice that in the next one, one is folded farther down and one is up a little bit. I kind of like that. Um, but in the next in the next book I'll probably make them even. There's a little bit of little bit in me that needs that symmetry, I guess. <laughs> um, if you notice, there was some checkerboard down there. I had found this little square of cotton stuck onto a stick, and I thought, oh, that looks like it could be a, a stamp. And sure enough, with the watercolor, it stamped it into a nice little checkerboard pattern at the bottom for a border. <coughs> and I didn't use black, I used the blue, and that inspired me to go ahead and finish off the rest of the page with that nice blue, um, that nice rich jewel tone blue that um, that is in, uh, I believe that's in the mermaid uh, the mermaid colors or the sea colors in the turquoise, um, is it the turquoise box of Jane Davenport colors? Uh, anyway, one of those. But you see here that I have a lot of variants of color and texture. It's really rich. It's so fun. It's beautiful. And the green comes through from the textured pieces and um, I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. It's um, exactly what I was going for and I really really enjoyed it. Then I, um, uh, you can glue it down, you can uh, attach it several ways. 
Uh, I've seen it done where they punch holes and tie it around, but I'm not a big fan of all those strings hanging out of the book. And then I thought about just weaving through the holes where you don't actually see the strings uh, uh, down at the bottom of the book. But I just went ahead on this one and the first one that I did and glued. I just used the glue. And if it starts to come up with my... Um, I love this glue. This glue just is really good glue. It's a glue stick. And I really, really love it. But if it uh, starts to come up, I'll use a, a stronger glue. Um, and I, I still may go ahead and attach those those holes. I'm, I'm actually, now that I'm talking and looking at it, I'm thinking I really might like that uh, that ribbon right through it, you know, weaving through it at the bottom. Uh, for me, mixed media is never done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bad. I go back and I fix and, and add to and and uh, smooth out and I do a lot of different things. Um, I chose dragonflies to be my focal point <clears throat> and I don't put them on exactly even because again I like things a little asymmetrical and uh, so I, um, I just slap them on there and the watercolor comes off with the Mod Podge. So the, the Mod Podge is, is gluing over blue, and I really like that. I, um, I was real happy with that. And I'm, I'm not stingy with the Mod Podge. It looked like I was stingy before, but, you know, I, I cut and pasted this so that it wasn't so long. The video originally was over an hour long, and I thought that was just too long to watch. <laughs> you get the idea how these pages are made. Uh, by what I've left here. So anyway, so I've I've got that um, I've got that sealed down pretty well, and making sure the page behind it isn't glued. That's the page behind it, and again you see that those are eight pages uh, divided into fours, and each fourth has two pages glued together. So it's really nice and sturdy. I just ooh I just love it. And um, you can't see that nice border at the bottom, but hopefully I'll, I'll put that, slide that book up in a minute. But at the end of the video, I will show you the, the book and uh, some, of, some of the other pages I've done. So, um, uh, again, I've got um, something underneath there to help it to uh, dry because I'm kind of working in wet medium pretty much most of the time. Uh, although I'm working outdoors and it dries pretty fast and it dried fast enough to let me go ahead and do some stamping just for another nice little jewel of a layer and um, I'm going to stamp everywhere just to give it that little bit of extra oomph a little bit grungy, a little bit um, old looking and um, I'm <laughs> just having fun with it just playing around um, this uh, this page was inspired by, um, well, I can't think of her name, but I will put it down in the bottom uh, notes because uh, uh, you will love her. She is amazing, and uh, she has a lot of videos out, and I'm going to be um, trying out a lot of her stuff. I just, I love this form of mixed media. I just, I love all the layers. I love the thickness. I love the bulk of it. Um, I did take out uh, a couple pages in the middle of those eight pages. So I actually had ten pages and I took out two pages from the middle uh, just for um, extra space. So that's that's another thing to note. Um, that I started off with setting aside ten pages, took out the two middle pages, and then the next two on either side glued together, and the next two on either side glued together. So um, I needed a little oomph, so I put another layer on, and this again is the little shimmer um, from James Davenport. It's the gold shimmery paint. And I'm using very little water so that the paint is thicker. And it, um, 
it looks it looks really nice. You can't see it here, but at the end of the video, I think it shows up very nicely as I'm tilting the book and showing you what it looks like when it's all dried. And um, um, I'm very generous with it because I'm a glitter shimmery kind of gal. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 a page has glitter on it, it has a lot of glitter. I I love uh, I love all that. So um, there now we can see my little border. I was so happy with that border, and I was so happy to to I I had that little marker thing forever, and had never used it. Didn't really know what it was for, and now I see. It's a, it's a stamp. It's a felt stamp. It's a felt square on a stick. And uh, I just used it as a stamp. Was not happy with all that extra white around that, of course. Um, I knew that was going to get uh, taken care of. Um, I don't mind some white. And I didn't do the white in between the legs there because I did all that stamping and I wanted to leave that. I was happy with it. That's how I saw clapping at the end. I was very happy. Uh, this is the front of the book. This is uh, another day. I'm inside. And um, again, I'm going to show you. This uh, This was the original one I did to try it out. And I thought, well, I'll do a video so other people can see what I'm doing. And I, I this actually belongs in the back of the book with the other uh, stamp. But... I altered a, stamp, uh, a bookmark or a tag that someone sent me, Christina sent me. I altered that and uh, made it so it fit kind of in with the theme of this book. And I just set it in there. This one, this is a little one, and I thought, you know what? I've got two pages. I might cut a little strip in the bottom and have a little pocket in the front of the pocket. What do you think of that? That seems like it'd be fun. Because that's that's too small of a of a tag for that page, but anyway, um, I was really happy with it. I did put the um, uh, the washi on this one. The washi goes on it for strength, but didn't seem like I needed it with the the next one. Now this page was another page I did. I didn't do a video on it. I glued three pages together and did umpteen uh, layers just all kinds of goodies down below the the surface and uh, I made pockets that has four pages glued together two on each side I cut a paper towel whole uh, roll in the middle and then I made uh, like a little tag at each end like a tab and then I glued it all in there to make two pockets and then I made these little pocket um, inserts where you can write on the back. And um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round those corners. Looking at the video, I didn't really notice at the beginning when I was making them, but I don't like the square. I, I don't like it really, really square. But that's a velvet butterfly with, um, uh, with metal... Uh, antenna and it has um, just like a, a body of a uh, made out of paper a dark paper and uh, that was given to me by Ying Yingya the Ada uh, book that's uh, San Francisco Opera and uh, she sent that to me and I've been wanting to use it and so it was perfect for that I knew you need to cover the back of those um, tabs but anyway, this is the page, all finished, and you can see um, you can you can see it's just very effective. I've put another uh, tag in it, so you're probably wondering about that. I'll pull that out in a minute, and uh, oh well, hopefully I'll pull it all the way out. That tag uh, is also another one I altered uh, from Christina, what she sent. And originally it had a calendar page, January 24th, which was my granddaughter's birthday, so I didn't want to cover it up. I don't know if it looks obvious or not that it was left uh, to see through, but anyway, um, I had fun with that, uh, altering that tag. And on the back, I just put um, um, the back part of a napkin and some paint just to kind of grunge it up a little bit so it'll fit in with this book. 
but see how the gold shimmers on that page I'm just so happy I'm so happy with how this turned out and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I think a lot of you will try this and it really is fun one thing you want to do you always want to um, use a book that has sewn in signatures when you're working um, with um, really thick pages and thick materials and when you take out those two pages you take them out from the middle of the sewn signature so anyway that's all the rest that's all I have in this book I've just started it and I'm going to be doing more in it so watch for more videos but I hope you like it and I hope you uh, subscribe and I hope you comment and I'd love to see some likes and sharing and add me to your um, your playlist um, I'm going to be putting um, more videos up but this one would be a nice video to keep so thank you thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.